hold our finish. Okay, we're gonna check that the, the, the heel is nice and high. The shoelaces are pointing up the center of the field. We have some nice flexion in our knee and that we didn't dance with that back foot. Now I'm gonna show you one more from the face on view just so we can go over it again real quick. Okay, we're gonna make our swing. Okay, checkpoint, heels high, shoelaces are pointing up the center of the field. Okay, my, my leg's nice and flexed and I didn't dance around. It started in the same place, or it finished in the same place that it started. Now, I wanna say one thing real quick about squashing the bug, because I know there's a lot of guys out there who think squashing the bug is wrong. Yes, there is a wrong way to squash the bug as well, and I wanna go over that very quickly, and that's pretty much, we don't do those four checkpoints that I went over in the whole video, okay? If we don't let that heel get high, we end up just kinda of spinning our foot and being really lazy. You know, if we let this leg straight, straighten out, and we do this, yeah, we've rotated our back foot, but now this leg's all straight, you know, and then if we, uh, if we don't, oh, that's not maintaining the flexion, um, if we over-rotate or under-rotate the wrong way, we're not squashing the bug properly or rotating properly, and if we're letting this foot dance around in, this, in the swing at all, then those are wrong ways to squash the bug. So yes, if we're, if we're rotating improperly on the, bad, uh, on the back side, then yes, squashing the bug is not good, but if we properly do it, or we properly squash the bug, where we properly learn how to rotate on the backside with these checkpoints, we'll be well on our way.